How did I get into music? Well, in high school, I was involved in all the musicals, and I also played the saxophone. It was in the chorus, and I actually ended up with the music award my senior year, and uh, just decided I wanted to go into musical theater in college. Well, it was funny because I went into Fredonia because they had a musical theater degree, Bachelor of Fine Arts, and my first voice teacher there um, turned me on to Maria Callas, and so I got turned on to opera. So how did you end up singing at the Met? That was kind of a, on a whim. Um, after college, you know, I was still studying voice and I was uh, auditioning for different things and somebody said they were going to, to audition for the extra chorus and so, so I went. You know, I almost didn't go. My, my boss at my job said, oh, what do you got to lose? Go, go audition. So I went in and I sat around for about four hours before I got to sing so and I didn't expect anything to happen to come of it so I went in and I just sang and I had a good time doing it and then I got a call back and I was amazed you know you're one and when you're in the chorus you're one of like a hundred people so you you're there absorbing everything but you're not in the spotlight so it was very um, you could be educate you could be an observer as well as a performer and um, you know, you're dealing with a lot of egos around you and a lot of different types of people. And um, the best thing about it was just watching the other artists work. You know, one time I bumped into Placido Domingo backstage and he was the nicest person. Sat and chatted with us for a while, asked us about our personal, you know, lives. You know, you have families, that kind of thing. It was very much like that. I, I did a couple of performances while I was eight months pregnant. Um, and they built a costume especially for me, so I felt really special, you know. <laughs> and everyone was so, that was surprising to me, because I had heard so many rumors about, um, you know, they don't hire, you, you can't be married, you can't have kids, you can't, you know, being in that profession, they don't want to hear any of that stuff, and everyone was so supportive. Um, Renee Fleming had said to me she was so jealous because she loved being around her kids, and, um, you know, we were doing the Verity Requiem at Carnegie Hall, and my daughter was in my <laughs> was in my belly for the for the um, Verdi Requiem. Anyway, I think my kids maybe picked up on that. I, I stopped performing mostly because it got to be more and more difficult. You had to re-audition every year, which meant you were constantly training. It just got to be where I was more interested in raising my family and having fun with my kids than working so hard at keeping up a profession that I was singing in the chorus and um, pretty much doing the same operas every year after a while. I, I still try to keep involved in music um, the easiest and most accessible ways through the church. I've been singing in church choir for 30 years and I took a break for a little while and I went back to it because I missed it.